With silver trading at near $32 an ounce, should we be buying any silver at all at these high prices? Well, I will reluctantly say yes, but there's only certain kinds that I think you should buy. And I'll give you a hint, for me, it's not what you see here. I'll explain as we explore. Silver comes in a variety of different forms, as you know. Most of us are familiar with silver coming in the form of coins. The most popular, most recognized, the American Silver Eagle and the Canadian Maple Leaf. But it also comes in the form of rounds as well, like this round here. You know, some people will say this is a generic round, but technically it's not generic. In fact, even though the maker's mark is not on this piece, we know it's made by Asahi when you look at descriptions. And I think pieces like this where you know the manufacturer, it's kind of tough to say that it is actually uh, a generic, although off-brand uh, pieces will be considered probably um, uh, uh, generic anyways, uh, such as Walmart, a great value for certain things. So there is that. And by the way, the maker's mark is on this particular piece here, Asahi, that's their symbol there. But uh, that is that is a little nuance there. If you want to see a real generic round, here it is. And it's just technically a blank. There's nothing stamped on it at all. I got that at my local coin shop some time ago for right around spot price. And this is a clue as to what I'm buying, by the way, right now. But a little technical detail here. This is technically a blank. Uh, now, if it were actually uh, run through the upsetting mill and the rims were upset on it, then it would be considered a planchet, ready for striking. That's what happens whenever a, this is what it looks like before it becomes that, a coin or a round. Now, I could insult this left side, up, down, left and right, and it still would not be in a planchet because my words will not upset this silver round at all. It's only an upsetting mill that will do that. Uh, you can Google that to see what that's about. But then there's bars, silver bars. Of course, this is sunshine minting. And you'll notice that we don't call these things generic bars either because they all, most of them have a brand associated with them of some sort. And so I don't like the idea of using the term generic rounds, uh, but there are some cases where it could be used. But still, whatever you can find the best deal on is, is really simply what you should buy. I uh, like this unmarked silver round or silver, uh, yeah, silver round here, silver blank. But what else am I buying? Well, what I am buying is the most recognizable form of silver that you can find out there. Even more recognizable than most of the things you see here. Now, pure bullion, in terms of uh, three nines, fine. The American Seagull, American silver eagle is it. But there's a lot of other silver that's out there for sure. And in your country. Uh, and generically, across the form of all countries, I refer to it as spending silver. Some people call it junk silver. I don't like that term either. I don't like it at all. Because uh, to me, silver is not junk, no matter the state that it's in. Uh, although I understand where it came from. But I buy this. Constitutional silver. 90% silver. And uh, now I bought this silver when 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 it was trading just above $32 an ounce. And I'm gonna press these, push these aside so you can see it here. And I purchased these together for under 20 bucks. I paid $2.20 per dime. So in other words, 22 times face for these coins here. And I probably should have just bought another dime and made it an even $22, but I did not do that. Uh, this is indeed 90 cents worth of silver. And uh, I think I got it for just under 19, just under $20, 19 and change, what have you. But I paid under spot price for these coins. And they let me cherry pick them as well too. And one of them is a very nice uh, winged Liberty dime that you see here. Uh, this one is here, happens to be from 1943, right in the middle of World War II. So it's nice to be able to have that in the stack. And be able to purchase it from a cherry picked, cherry picking here as I'm standing Liberty Quarters. I like the older style coins. You have run a greater risk of, of having slicks 
So if you have the chance to uh, pick through it, I would encourage you to do that. But obviously you can get more modern, you know, the Roosevelt Dimes, the Washington Quarters as well. My local coin shop is still charging a bit more for half dollars. So I'm kind of avoiding doing that. But it is a way for me to stack on a budget because I am uh, watching my money this year. And normally I would concentrate a lot more on gold, uh, but I'm kind of uh, disciplining myself for a myriad of different reasons that I won't get into here. But whenever you can get silver for under spot, I think it's a good idea, especially constitutional silver, because it wasn't that long ago, folks, when you were hard pressed to find any constitutional silver around much anywhere. Now my local coin shop got a whole bunch of winged liberty dimes in, which means they're paying well under spot for it. And they are charging me under spot for these coins. Spot price on these dimes is $2.32 right now. $2.32. The quarters are $5.80. Um, and so $5.80 for the quarter and $2.32. And I paid under spot $2.20 for each of these uh, dimes, a dime under spot for a coin that is highly valued or recognized and admired throughout the stacking community. Why do I like constitutional silver? Why do I tend to buy it piecemeal like this? Well, it's kind of like a fix, you know? Some people go out for the Starbucks coffee. I say, screw that. I'm gonna get something that I can keep, I can hold, I can admire, I can stack. I can put my, get, you know, get a, uh, I can get myself a tube and fill up the tube of dimes. I'm getting there. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up right now yeah, this is a tubular journey in a sense, kind of piecemeal here. I'm kind of jumping the gun here because I already have one for half dollars that, I've, that I need to catch up on. That one's almost done too. Uh, but uh, let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead and put these in here. Four more dimes added to this tube. All winged Liberty dimes or Mercury dimes if you are so inclined. I put a lid on it, that's right, and there it is. Now I've got the two quarters. I might need to start a tube with the quarters. But that is my favorite to stack right now because of the deal. And I will probably continue to buy these until such a time when it changes. But I, when I talked to my local coin shop about it, they said, well, this stuff is just not selling. It is a buyer's market. They are buying, 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 and they need to sell, sell, sell to make up the difference. Um, and there's not as many sellers as there is buyers, and this has been the case at this particular coin shop that are frequent for uh, quite a number of weeks now. It's only gotten worse as the price has gone up. And even when it's staying, even when it goes down a little bit, people are just continually coming in and selling off their silver. They had a whole lot of silver bars, and they had a whole lot of silver dimes, and, uh, and a whole lot of silver quarters as well, too. So people are unloading like crazy. What is the advice I'm giving on this channel? Just goes to show you the influence and the reach of this channel because <clears throat> my advice is to not sell. My advice is to hold on. But if you are a buyer, well, believe it or not, even with the prices as high as they are, this is a buyer's market. You're essentially getting silver as if it was 2 or $3 cheaper per ounce than it is now, maybe even more in a normal market. So there are so there's times to buy silver when it's uh, really high, <clears throat> when the price spot price is high, and there's times when not to buy silver when the price is really low. Another case in point, uh, going back to when the the market essentially crashed, silver went under twelve dollars an ounce. That's right. In March of 2020, silver's price went under twenty dollars an ounce. I bought a tube of silver eagles then, and I paid right around twenty bucks per eagle back then. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. That was a lot back then, but I digress. <coughs> um, but uh, that's a lot over spot. And so there are times when to buy and when not to buy. And it all base is based off of the premiums. So yes, if you can find silver uh, with, a, with a good bargain, whether it be in the pure form, like in this silver bar, or in a coin form, like the silver eagle, or a round form, uh, and it's really close to spot price and you've got the budget and you and it, you something that you can really uh, not uh, chip away at your dollar cost average too much that may be worth doing 
Every market is different. I think every local coin shop, even in, this, in the same city, is different as to how they sell. I've seen that time and time again. It was another local coin shop in my area where, for the longest time, he had $51 on silver rounds when the price of silver was trading at less than $30 an ounce. Why did he have this? Because he bought them high and just could not... Uh, could not see to himself to drop the price because he would lose money on them. Well, I'm sorry. You got to cut your losses and run. You're never going to sell that, quote, privately issued silver or generic silver uh, for that price until you liquidate. Until, you know, you're going to have to cut your losses and, and go. And uh, sooner or later, that will happen. I, I've not been, I don't even know if that particular location is even around anymore. I haven't been there in quite some time because it's really hit or miss with some of the prices there. But uh, this place though, it's pretty remarkable to be able to get uh, a good deal on these pieces. Uh, so it really is uh, a matter of just shopping around, just like anything for them anywhere. And you might be surprised what you may ask. And I, I would be willing to bet at your local coin shops, and I think really this is the case, this is something you're gonna have to do mostly at a local coin shop or at a coin show. That is where you're going to find the bargains. Maybe not as much online. However, some online shops will have uh, silver at spot deals. Uh, but be very careful with those. Some of them will say, we'll give you a free ounce of silver if you buy a tube of 20 at regular price. Uh, and, you know, and, and so th there's certain things there too. Or, yes, you can get a silver eagle at spot price, no strings attached. Oh, by the way, we have a minimum order of $50. Um, and so there you go. Or, you know, some other catch like that. So just be wary out there, but uh, be, be careful. But this is what I'm stacking right now, constitutional silver. Be on the look for it out, especially at your local coin shop. But shop around, too, at other places online. You might find some good deals, too. Something to look out for. It's my favorite right now. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.